Hello everyone. This video is going to show you a process by which you can forward mail from your first class account out to your Google account. The uh, special thing about this process is the messages will arrive at Google uh, in the same way that they arrived in first class. That is, you'll be able to see the sender and other information. And for some of the messages that you have received already in first class, this may be desirable. So without further ado, let's get into how to do this. Obviously, the first step would be for you to log into your first class account. And if you're not looking at your inbox, perhaps you're looking at the desktop like this, uh, make sure that you are in your inbox. The first thing to do is to go under the new menu that you have at the top of your screen and choose new conference. When you do that, you'll get a dialog box like this one, and we're just going to st stick with the default of a standard conference. Now at the top of the screen, you'll see my new conference, and I'm going to give it a name now. Let's call it Forward to Google. Once we've created our new conference, we're going to double-click to open it. And within the conference, I'm just going to expand the window a little bit here, <clears throat> we are going to create a folder. So again, with your conference window open, like you see here, if you go under the New button for the conference, you can choose New Folder. Once again, you get the similar dialog box. A standard folder is fine, and it will appear and you'll have the same chance to rename it. I'm going to call this folder sent. Now the reason for this folder is the process will work like this. We're going to move messages from our inbox into this new conference. And the, we're going to apply a rule that we have yet to create that will do a couple of things, but one of them will be uh, at the end to move the message into this sent folder. This way you have a place where everything you have sent out to Google uh, is easy to see. It keeps things tidy. So having done that, um, I'm now going to go under the Collaborate menu. And there's a choice here called Rules, which I'm going to select. And we get a new dialog box, like this one, where we're going to choose this button, New Advanced Rule click it and I get a form that I can fill in. Uh, once again I have a chance to name it here at the top where it's highlighted in blue and I'm going to do that. I'm going to call this send to Google. Now also at the top you'll see there is a uh, checkbox here add to toolbar. I'm going to check that which will create a button where we can activate this rule and find it more easily leave it on enable that should be there by default in the field here called when message received you should click the drop down here and choose run manually in the field where it says if we're actually going to just leave it on the default of all and in the field below that we want to choose always that's right here so again run manually all and always. So below this we now have the place where we're going to fill in our rules and there are just two of them. So the first one we're going to select here we want to choose this choice redirect halfway down. Once again I'll pull it out and you can see in this list choose redirect. Now in the to field we're going to use the temporary mail address that you should have at the ready. If you don't have that information, you should refer to our help document on how to get your alternate email address from the Google account. Very briefly, I'm going to paste my alternate email address in here, but there is another address in Google, which you can see here, I've highlighted it. 
The first part of the mail address is the same as the one you use now for almost everybody that's first initial last name. The after part of the email address is shown here and as you can see it's a little bit more complicated than our standard gdrsd.org. If, again, if you don't have this information now, uh, look for the help document on where to get it in Google. You can just copy it from there and paste it into this field. I'm going to move along, though, and I'm going to use this plus button right here to create a second entry for a rule. And in the second entry, I'm going to click the drop-down box and choose the first choice, which is Move to Folder. Now once we've done that, we get another field over here and we're going to put in the name of the folder that we just created. I named it Sent, uh, but you want to make sure that the name matches whatever you called that folder. And that's all we have to do. So you can see the form here before you, filled in correctly. And once we've done all of this, we want to click the Save button right here, which I'm going to do. And you'll notice that in the dialog box on rules, we now have an entry for send to Google. I'm going to close that, though. And I'm also going to close the conference because the button won't appear until we close it and come back. So having done that, I'm still looking at our new conference here at the top. So I'm going to double click to open it. And now you'll notice in the upper right, there's a new button send to Google. That's the rule we just created. For some of you, if you open up the conference and you don't see it, you see something like this, it just means that the, the window isn't wide enough, so you want to expand it like I've just done here to see that rule. If you don't see that rule, there may be some other issue and you should check with someone on the team for additional help. Now, before we get into how to use this rule, I'm going to make one other recommendation for you, which is to change the view in your conference. That's under the view menu here and it will default to view by icon. I'm going to recommend that you change that to view by list. The reason for that is we're going to be moving messages from our inbox into this conference and if we view them as a list it will look very much like the inbox. Also it makes it easier to select those messages in batches and it also makes it easier to not select your sent folder. Once again, the sent folder is where the messages will end up. So you don't want to select that to apply the rule. All right. With that, we are ready to give an example of how to use your brand new rule. I'm going to close the dialog box. I'm once again looking at my inbox. So I'm going to pick any message just to use as an example. And uh, a couple of tips for you here. If you have conversations in your first class, that is a message that has other pieces. You'll see the plus sign that tells you that. And if I click the plus sign, I will see those other messages. So what you want to be aware of is this. If you just highlight a conversation that is a message with a plus sign and you right click and move it to your new conference, you will only get the top message in that thread. So what you're going to want to do is open up any of these threads and select every message within. I'll do that here. There are only two. No, I'm sorry, there are three. So if I select all three of the messages that are in this thread and right click and choose move to folder, they will all go and when I send them up to Google using our rule, they will be reassembled into a conversation on the Google system. It's pretty neat. But the key is to make sure that you have expanded all these pluses to get those messages. Now, you can also select multiple messages. So I could, if I wanted to, grab these three and right-click and move, move them in batches, and I'm going to recommend that you do that. Um, so without further ado, let me just pick some message that I might want to forward. I'm going to right click that message once it's highlighted and choose move to folder. Now in the dialog box we see here we are looking for our new conference which we called forward to Google. So I'm going to scroll down here and click on my mailbox icon 
at the top. And sure enough, there is the conference we've created, Forward to Google. So I'm going to say OK now, and the message will have disappeared from the inbox. I'm now going to go to my Forward to Google conference, and as you can see, the message has arrived here within the conference. There's our sent folder we created earlier. Here's our one message we've moved over. Nothing's really happened to it yet. We've just moved it from inbox to this conference. When all is said and done, it's going to end up in that sent folder, though. Now, the, the thing to remember here is the rule only works on messages after you've selected them. So if you have 10 messages in here, if you highlight all 10 and hit this button up here, send to Google, all 10 will go through the process. If nothing is selected, the rule will do nothing. So I'm going to highlight the one message we have, and I'm going to click our Send to Google. Now, you'll notice that it disappeared from the conference, but I'm going to double-click the Sent folder that we created earlier. So you can see that the message, I dropped it in back here, let me bring it to the front. You can see that the message has in fact ended up in the sent folder. So having done that, I'm going to pause the video so I can go to the Google side and show you what it looks like over there. All right. I have logged into my Google account, which you can see here. I'm using my original gdrst.org mail address. But I have confirmation that the message that I sent from first class through this process has arrived, and I can see the original sender as though it had originally came here. So that's it. Um, I thank you for your time. I hope the process works well for you, but if you do need some additional help or have any questions, of course, be in touch with any member of the tech team, and we'll be happy to help you out. Take care.